Okay, uh, we're here day one at Astrofest and we're on the Lunt Solar System stand. Um, the interesting products, Lunt have had a range of hydrogen alpha and calcium telescopes out now for several years. Um, Andy Lunt, uh, founder of, of Lunt Instruments based over in the US, um, produced some quite remarkably priced instruments. Um, what Lunt seem to be moving more towards now is a high resolution and very high magnification large aperture instruments. Um, at the show we're currently looking at the 152 millimeter uh, refractor product which has been on the market now for uh, some time. They've incorporated this very innovative pressure tuning system for the Ethylon which basically allows you to take the ambient pressure at any point and then use that as a kind of reference uh, point for tuning um, the Ethylon. Uh, which is rated at around about 0.65 to 0.7 angstrom bandpass. So it's quite an impressive Atalon anyway. Energy rejection filter at the front of the telescope. Uh, the filter is typically at the back of the telescope um, itself and quite a nice refractor. What is extremely exciting though is they seem to now have really pushed the boundaries in terms of a, a, a whole new dimension in, in aperture. And they've moved up to a 230 millimeter refractor. This product's scheduled for release later in the year and we probably coming in at around about £15,000. But 230 millimetres, 0.65 angstrom bandpass, it's going to be quite a large refractor. Um, the only instruments like this really on the market at the moment are in professional observatories and or modified. People like Rogerio Marcon, who's been uh, an uh, imager that we've featured in Astronomy Now magazine in the past in the solar section, he's been using a Zeiss 200 millimetre refractor with a Lunt filter to create some absolutely spectacular images. To, so to see this kind of product made commercial is really quite interesting so uh, watch this space <laughs> 